All right, it's 5.30. We'll get this city council meeting started. It is October 21st, 2024. Uh, if you could all join me in pledging allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> All right, please note that all members of the council are present. Uh, first item on the agenda is to approve the agenda. Chair would entertain a motion to approve. I'll make that motion. We have a motion by Councillor Holden. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Councillor Wagner. Discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 And I'll vote yes, motion carries 5-0. Next, we go to approval of the minutes. Uh, first set is our public hearing from October 7th. Chair would entertain a motion to approve <coughs> those. Move to approve. We have a motion by Councillor Buller. I'll second. Second by Councillor Kaler. Discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes, motion carries, 5-0. Next, we go to the council meeting from uh, October 7th. Chair would entertain a motion to approve that. I'll make that motion. Motion by Councillor Holden. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Councillor Wagner. <clears throat> Discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 Vote yes, motion carries 5-0. Next we have the um, Committee of the Whole meeting from last Monday. Chair would entertain a motion to approve that. So moved. Motion by Councillor Buller. Second. Second by Councillor Wagner. Discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes. Motion carries 5 0. Next, we go to the payments and claims uh, and approval. Um, we have a resolution before you. It has um, monies going by transfer to the 401 permanent improvement of $66,666.66. That's coming evenly from the 601 water and the 603 sewer in the amount of $33,333.33. We have mon uh, funds going to the Reserve for Capital Outlay, 403, in the amount of $20,567.25, coming from the 601 water of $14,693 and the 603 sewer of $5,874.25 for total transfers of $87,233.91. Our accounts payable, International Falls uh, regular claims of $643,329.77. And International Falls public uh, library board claims of $5,121.49 for a total accounts payable of $648,451.26. Chair would entertain a motion to approve the um, payments and claims. I'll move. We have a motion by Councillor Kaler. Second. Second by Councillor Buller. Discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes. Motion carries 5-0. <coughs> Next we go to audience. Does anyone in the audience have anything to bring forward that's not on the agenda? Please. That was a pretty stealthy look back. Just wanted to make sure if there was any ladies in the audience that they could go first. Yeah. Um, Eric Strand, I yep. was here at the last council meeting and just wanted to um, be mindful of my five minutes here. Um, just wanted to be mindful of my uh, my time with you folks. The On the other uh, council meeting I was in attendance, um, just there was a couple things in the Gazette article that I just wanted to review, but um, in the article it was uh, kind of quoted that I had estimated a $2 million cost. I really don't recall that as a specific estimate. If I did, I have no I have no <clears throat> basis on on what that on on what that cost might be. Um, really, the concern really was over the residential neighborhood, uh, and also cited in the paper was slow access to other areas of the city. I, I really had specifically referred to uh, the increased emergency traffic on 19th Street 
Second Avenue East, Memorial Drive, and um, and I and I did specifically say turning it into a into a drag strip. Um, the increased traffic of the emergency vehicles really does concern me, especially without bringing 22nd Street out. It's just not a good idea. And I did specifically identify 22nd Street not being completed into Second Avenue East as the you know as one of the chief reasons. So I, I, I really would like that to be, to be noted. Um, and, and Mayor, you had specifically addressed upgrades over time and, and multiple uses of the property. Um, what, so what, what else is really planned for the property other than the law enforcement services? Uh, not multiple uses, just like you're correcting stuff. I, I guess I can okay. too. Um, okay building it in stages to have office space first, have the, the, uh, the area where the, the vehicles can go in, just it only being utilized for a, a police facility. But yeah, just okay. staging it to, uh, to accommodate so it wouldn't be one big, one big uh, fix to get it all up and running in like the first year. It would okay. be office space and then uh, be able to park the vehicles inside and then just working its way to being what we need it to be. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> and I know you had mentioned modern policing and I, and I have not talked with the, um, with the police chief, but if that really does mean more is done from the vehicles and the vehicles are really not called out from a station and you know, pull away from the desk and, and head out into the vehicles, um, why, why isn't Bacchus sufficient then? I mean, they, they, they have their home it was again these leasehold improvements they have their home and if everything is really done more remotely i, I just i just don't see the I, I just see this as a whole duplicate with a whole lot of resources a whole lot of money being put into back us that you can't pack in a box and and bring with you a lot of those things that would that went to back us can be packed up um and brought over there um, some of the IT stuff uh, was able to be reused. Some of it was not able to be reused. Um, but ultimately, what it what it comes down to is long term uh, um, long term use. With uh, with Bacchus, we're paying um, a pretty pretty substantial uh, rent fee. It's uh, a little bit lower than what we were paying at the county when we when we uh, were there. And so now if we can put that into one building and be able to maintain our own building without having to pay rent, we see that as a cost savings over time. Yeah, and, and I see pulling away from the county. To me, that was, that, that's the deal of the day. I mean, you have a home, you have both agencies together, you have uh, efficiencies within that. And really what that is, is it's synergy. It's synergy, being able to do more as one unit than you can as separate, and and I think we we can all agree we don't have we don't have these unlimited resources where everybody gets to play in their own sandbox. We we need to we need to share and we need to show some synergies, and and I would really suggest for the next administration that that be a focus is repairing this relationship with the county. I think it was the deal of the day. It was efficient where it was. And it appears that there's sufficient room at the new facility to, to bring in the city. So I, I, hope, that's, I hope that's actually, actually considered. Um, so I, I, was, I, I, was, um, I was curious on, um, on August 5th's minutes, um, there was a conference attended by Administrator Bergstrom and Councilor Kaler talked about housing issues throughout Minnesota. Um, you got to be kidding. <laughs> May I continue? Finish your sentence or your um, thought. So uh, what, I'm, what, what my thought is, is, is what are the housing demands throughout Minnesota? And I see in this local area that slab on grade homes, home sites are in huge demand. Mm -hmm. yep. You have uh, almost a two acre parcel. It's 200 feet frontage by 433 feet deep. You could reserve 50 feet on the south side for driveway and snow areas. You could have four lots, four 80 foot by 150 foot lots. You, the front lot, you could Where reserve. Where's the property you're talking about? The Kutaska building. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, 
and you could have um, a 33-foot uh, berm slash uh, barrier in the front. You could have five lots. You could invite developers to, to come in and make proposals. But here's five lots that would generate 15,000 plus for county taxes. When has that property ever had a dime of taxes collected on it? Oh, valid point, very valid point. When? Oh, so here's, here's, here's an opportunity. Yeah. And to me, this is longer range planning than, than putting this police station out in the middle of this residential neighborhood. And, and I can't, you know, if, if I, I just couldn't believe that that, that that wouldn't have been brought up in a, in a meeting like you folks went to, is, you know, and yeah, multifamily and, and things like that. So um, I, I certainly think it would be a good use of resources to take that money for the um, facility condition assessment, the strategic facility review, and the pre-construction services demo the property, bring in a developer, and let's get, some, let's get some homes on the tax rolls of what's in demand and within city limits. Perfect. So. I just want to address the one thing that, that you had said about uh, moving from back, or moving from the, uh, the law enforcement center in that time. The, the major hiccup that we had is as they were talking about the new jail, we just needed to know how much our rent would be moving forward and we were not able to get that answer. We had asked multiple times and then finally we got to a point at the end of the year when we had to come up with a decision, they still were not able to give us the dollar amount of what our rent would be. Uh, we had a handful of conversations with the county um, on that and we weren't able to come to a resolution. And what we wanted to do is look at, uh, at Bacchus and then as they move forward with the jail, be able to have conversations to <coughs> what that looks like into the future. So it, it was never off the table, but it was, uh, it was definitely conversations that, uh, that fell through on both sides. Okay. So. <clears throat> Appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate the follow-up. We'll see you at the next meeting. I have 38 properties to visit and, and talk to. See that. All right, we will uh, go to the consent agenda. We have um, four items on the consent agenda. Uh, first is approve the 2025 renewal of the Blue Cross Blue Shield Plan 653, the approval of the 2025 Senior Gold Medicare Blue RX Plan, and the 2025 renewal of the Emeritus Dental Plan. Approve the LMC IT liability coverage waiver uh, not to waive the limits on the municipal tort liability and authorize signatures. Chair would entertain a motion for the consent agenda. I'll move. We have a motion by Councillor Kaler. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Councillor Wagner. <clears throat> discussion. Oh, no discussion. Call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes. Motion carries 5 0. Next, uh, we have the um, consider portable recording devices, body-worn cameras for the International Falls Police Department. Uh, we did have a public hearing um, two weeks ago. Um, we did have a couple of people that had uh, voiced their opinion via e email or uh, in person with uh, the police chief that they were in favor of it. So at this time, uh, it's before us. The chair would entertain a motion to move forward. I'll make that motion with the body cams. We have a motion by Councillor Holden. Do second. we have a second? Second by, yes, let me talk. We've got a motion by Councillor Holden, a second by Councillor Wegner. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes, motion carries 5-0. Next, we have a request to use Smoky Bear Park and co-sponsor the Home for the Holiday event. Andrea Pastor. Good evening, everyone. Is this on? Does it matter? It is on. Okay. Um, my name is Andrea Pastor. I work at Rainy Lake Medical Center. We are asking to co-sponsor the Home for the Holidays Parade again this year. This is the 30th anniversary. So like um, other years, the event is on Black Friday, which this year falls on November 29th. 
Uh, the pre-prayed activities would begin in Smoky Bear Park at four o'clock. We would have some food trucks. We're also gonna offer some free hot chocolate and cookies. We'll have fires, um, Christmas light displays, and this year in lieu of reindeer, we're gonna have alpacas, so something different just to spice things up a little bit. Uh, the parade will begin at six. The parade route will remain the same as last year, which is um, heading west to east on Main Street. So it starts um, on 8th Avenue, <clears throat> goes down 3rd Street, and then ends at 3rd Avenue, Highway 53. You turn north and it ends. So I believe that's the same parade route as the 4th of July parade. Uh, the judges and MCs will sit on a trailer, but may move to the north side of the street this year. Um, previously, they've been on the south side, but have requested to move to the north because of the wind. So what if the wind comes from a different angle this yeah. year? No, I, yeah, I thought the same that? thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Unless there's any concerns with that, we'll determine where it makes the most sense. And Yeah. Um, Post-parade events will include fireworks. Uh, we've allocated $5,000, which we've worked with Adam and Asa to secure. Um, and from what I understand, the, the fireworks will be set off on a trailer this year on the street. So they'll be a little bit further away from PCA and they'll help us maintain that barrier. Um, we're asking that the road closure starts at three o'clock in front of Smoky Bear Park and then the full road closure would happen at 5 p.m. I have been working with um, the city folks to make sure that all of that can happen. Any questions Excellent. or concerns? Yeah, yeah. Sounds exciting. Yes. I, I, I have a request, and if you say no, I have no problem with that. Okay. Um, one of the things that I've seen in other communities, and I think it's so wonderful, especially since that we have this Home for the Holidays parade and, mm -hmm. and celebration, could we work with our, um, our public works and whether it's at Smoky Bear Park or the, the uh, Christmas tree that we have at the end of the block by the chamber building, have an official lighting of a Christmas tree? I failed to mention that, so thank you for reminding me. I did talk with the city. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> I did talk with them when I met with them earlier. Um, we are gonna do an official parade lighting down at Smoky Bear Park with those big trees by Smoky Bear. Perfect. So we're gonna do that at five o'clock. Oh, perfect. So I apologize that I forgot to put that in my notes. Mm -hmm. I a great idea. I apologize for not reading your notes because I didn't, I didn't know that. I just, I had talked to Betty about it last year after the event and I'm like, yeah. wouldn't that be really cool if that's the first time we turn on the lights? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so perfect. I, Chair would entertain a motion to approve all of the amazing things that Andrea just talked about. I'll make that motion to approve We have a motion. We have a motion by and Councilor Harley's Bullis. Lighting too. <laughs> Harley's lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Second. Press a button, my nose turns red. We have a second by Councilor Wagner. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes, motion carries, 5-0. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <coughs> All right, next we have um, a resolution approving a bingo event for the International Falls Chamber of Commerce to conduct bingo on December 5th at the VFW. Uh, Chair would entertain a motion to approve that. I'll move. We have a motion by Councillor Kaler. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Second by Councillor Holden. Discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes. Motion carries 5 0. <clears throat> Next, we have a couple of public works recommendations. The first is uh, <coughs> approve submitting an application for active transportation grant funding for the 9th Street Local Road Improvement Project. Chair would entertain a motion to approve that. I'll make that motion. We have a motion by Councillor Buller. I'll second. Second by Councillor, well, I almost wrote Holden, but I know it's not, it's Kaler. You can give him the credit. Ah, it's all right. Can it I has have to be right. It has to be right in the official minutes anyway. <laughs> so we have a motion and a second, any discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes, motion carries, 5-0. And next we have a resolution for uh, the MPCA Clean Water Partnership Program application process. Chair would entertain a motion to approve that. So moved. Motion by Councillor Bullard. I'll second. Second by Councillor, I almost did it again, Kaler. You did. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes. Motion carries 5-0. <laughs> Any other business to come before the council? 
Hearing none, we'll go to reports of the boards, committees, department heads, city administrator. I have nothing additional this evening, Mayor. Thank you. City attorney. I have nothing additional either. Thank you. Department heads. Reports of the mayor, council committees, boards and commissions. I would just uh, report that I noticed that the one uh, building we talked about last week, at, I think it was that committee of the whole or public works has been knocked down into the pile over on first seven West okay. that there was concern about. Uh, just that once again, the one watershed, one plan, public comment, get together slash barbecue is tomorrow at the Elks Club from five to seven. There'll be bratwurst and hot dogs and I believe potato salad and chips and it's an open house. There'll be some people there, but mainly they'll be there. The information will be there so you can take a look at it. And if you have any comments, get back to the group. Perfect. Anything else? All right, we'll go to audience. Anyone have anything for you, please? Mayor, thank you, sorry. Um, just a note that the airport steering committee did, um, the county and city have both approved moving forward with the RFP for the airport consulting and those RFPs are out on their website, the city county website. And so we'll be moving forward with that process. That's a deadline. The, I believe it was December, Early December. For the RFP yes. replies? Okay. Yes. Thank yes. You. Yeah. Okay. the end Perfect. of October to get it out and then December for replies. Okay. Correct. <clears throat> All right, we'll go to audience. If anyone has anything in the audience. Hearing none, correspondence. Uh, in your packet, you have uh, the International Falls Public Library meeting information from October 6th. Uh, reminders, we have a special Committee of the Whole meeting scheduled for November 4th at 4 p.m. Uh, and that is to discuss uh, financial management uh, for our utility funds. Um, and then we have a public hearing on November 4th as well, and that's going to be for the Fifth Avenue West assessment. And then our City Council meeting will be on November 4th as well. So we have a whole slate of meetings that day. And I would like to, I may, more than like you won't be here for the special committee of the whole, I'll be traveling back from the cities and hopefully I will be back for the regular council meeting. I'll probably be here. Uh -huh. It's the one day I told everyone I have to be in International Falls on Mondays, so here I am. Um, so yeah, perfect. Uh, with no other uh, information in front of us, this meeting is adjourned. We're going right into, a, well, maybe not right into, but we have an EDA meeting.